Heartbreaking final words, a lawsuit, and a family in mourning. Much has come to light about Naya Rivera's tragic death. Keep watching to learn it all. Naya Rivera captivated audiences for six seasons as Santana on Glee. The late star began acting when she was only four years old and subsequently appeared on shows like Family Matters, CSI Miami, and The Bernie Mac Show. However, it would be her role as Santana, a teenage lesbian coming to terms with her sexuality that would launch her career. Although Glee ended in 2015, Rivera continued to act. Prior to her death, she starred on Step Up, a show based on the film series of the same name. And off-screen, Rivera's personal life was often in the headlines. Rivera dated her Glee co-star Mark Salling from 2007 until 2010. She was later engaged to rapper Big Sean before breaking things off in April 2014. Three months later, she married actor Ryan Dorsey. The couple welcomed a son, Josie Hollis Dorsey, in September 2015. Though Rivera and Dorsey divorced four years after they married, the pair continued to co-parent Josie together. By all accounts, Rivera loved being a mother and prioritized her son over her career. On July 8, 2020, Rivera took her then four-year-old son Josie on an outing to Lake Piru, near Los Angeles, California. While there, she rented a boat and took her son out on the water. When she failed to return from the lake, a search for the actress turned up the boat and her son, but Rivera, then 33, was missing. Days later, on July 13th, Rivera's body was discovered in the lake. According to NBC News, Rivera's body was found in an area that was full of flora and brush. It's believed that this made finding her remains increasingly difficult. As her body was badly decomposed by the time it was found, officials had to use dental records to positively identify Rivera. According to the Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office, her death was accidental and an autopsy report confirmed that she had drowned. Although he was only four years old at the time, Rivera's son Josie gave investigators insight into what occurred the day of his mother's death. According to People, Josie stated that he and Rivera counted one, two, three before jumping off the boat. Once they were in the water, Rivera urged her young son to get back on the boat. The report stated that she helped her son onto the boat, yelled for help, then disappeared into the water. The autopsy reportedly further revealed that Rivera could swim. However, it did note that she suffered from vertigo, especially on water. Toxicology testing showed that Rivera had low amounts of drugs in her system, including Adderall, Dexedrine, Diazepam, Ethanol, and Phenermine. It's believed she was drinking White Claws on the boat as her blood alcohol level was 0.016. Nonetheless, these factors are not believed to have contributed to her accidental drowning, according to the medical examiner. Ultimately, the Ventura County Sheriff stated at a press conference, and that she mustered enough energy to get her son back onto the boat but not enough to save herself. In November 2020, a few months after Rivera's tragic death, The Guardian reported that her ex-husband Ryan Dorsey filed a wrongful death suit against Ventura County. Dorsey did this on behalf of the couple's son, Josie. According to People, he alleged that Lake Piru was neglectful and at fault for Rivera's death. This included a lack of boat safety and signs regarding the lake's dangers. The lawsuit also noted that Rivera is one of several people who have drowned in the lake since 1959. In late February 2022, according to E! Online, it was announced that Rivera's family had settled the lawsuit for an undisclosed amount that would be given to her son. Naya's sister, Nikayla Rivera, opened up about how the tragic death had impacted their family. In a YouTube video, she said of Naya's death, It was like someone pulled the rug from under us and we didn't see it coming. Nikayla also revealed that she is now attempting to put her life back together one step at a time. Rivera's mother, Yolanda, shared the same sentiment, opening up to Good Morning America about the pain her family had gone through since Naya's death. Don't worry, we have Josie, but your, your daughter's missing. Josie is now being raised by Naya's ex-husband and her sister. Rivera was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial in Los Angeles. 